here you see the schematic of a simple uh, radio made for this frequency band 700 kilohertz up to 1.6 megahertz it's made with three transistors all BC547 easy to get transistor works uh, till to approximately uh, 8 megahertz this is the first stage it's the high frequency stage here the radio signal is received from the antenna you need uh, an antenna outside a long wire antenna from 10 meters approximately it's coupled to the base of the first transistor by means of this capacitor it's 8 picofarad you can also use an indoor antenna from approximately 1 to 3 meter of course the signal strength is not so very uh, strong on that um, on such an antenna the second stage this is the first stage it's here in the radio first BF 547B this is the second stage it's here the second uh, transistor and the peculiar thing about this radio is that the second transistor amplifies but also oscillates you can set the oscillation process with this potentiometer and when it oscillates it generates a frequency somewhere between uh, these values somewhere in this band and that frequency is modulated by the amplified signal on the antenna so here the 22 picofarad condensator adds adds the, the antenna signal to the transistor and it oscillates because here the coil is connected in the collector lead and the coil is back coupled to the base and always in such a situation when you reverse one of the connections from the coil um, the transistor will work as an oscillator of course it has to be set uh, in the correct uh, working point and that's done by this uh, potentiometer that's here this potentiometer um, and after that when the radio signal um, is amplified and uh, is added to the oscillator you have a carrier wave and that carrier wave is amplified here in this transistor and detected by means of this diode here this is a germanium uh, detection diode so here in the circuit the signal is coupled from the oscillator to this stage and this stage amplifies the, the carrier wave, the modulated carrier wave and here it's detected by this diode you can tune in the radio uh, by moving the ferret rod here in and out the coil we'll demonstrate it now tune on turn in the Martin Luther King and the Spirit of Gandhi and I think that, that this is a radio station on AM is what's I'm going to tune now to another frequency by moving the ferry rod. That was a religious radio station on AM in the Netherlands. And this is another station on, a, on the AM. So you don't need a tuning capacitor. First stage. Uh, oscillator. And detection. Here. It works quite well. And I will show finally the 
radio signal. This is the uh, detected AM radio signal. Eindproductie Jacqueline Oskamp, Techniek Boris Nieuwenhuizen en Rob Gerritsen. Zometeen wordt de uitzending overgenomen van collega's van OM en dan gaan we de volgende week zaterdag zijn wij er weer met een expositie over mystiek in Zurich. We nemen een kijkje bij een Taiko school en aandacht voor de nieuwste filosoof. En um, de coil is easy to make. You need plastic isolated wire with a copper core from uh, 0.9 millimeters with isolation. Uh, the wire is 1.5 millimeters, 16 windings for uh, this part of the coil, L1, and 16 for the secondary part. And the ferret rod is 1 centimeter in diameter and 14 centimeters long. So you can, can tune into one radio station or two by means uh, of the ferrite rod. You can also use a tuning capacitor. It has to be approximately between this value. And you have to combine that with a fixed capacitor from approximately 500 picofarad. Okay. Um, well, I think that was all to explain. The 8 picofarad capacitor is necessary um, to, keep, to keep the selectivity good from this radio. Of course, this is quite messy, but um, when you can also make this very neat on a small print or so.